Hello everyone. Thank you for coming on our program this afternoon. Whether you are watching from Zoom or from Facebook, welcome to you all to our Inner Peace Sunday, a community where anyone from around the world come to meet together to meditate at the same time, same place. It may be in the afternoon for the Europe, but also morning in the US and also evening in Asian time. Nevertheless, this is the time that I think is most suitable. Anyone who are available can come join us. Let's see who has joining us today and I have prepared you something with the topic before we start our meditation. Today's topic is lucky person. You may be wonder, being lucky, what does it mean? Today we will go in the perspective in Buddhism and also how does it relate to our mind. Well, stay tuned. Let's see who is joining us at the moment. Hello, Mr. Duane. Thank you for coming. Mr. Satya, I believe this is our first time. Welcome to our Inner Peace Sunday. Miss Lisa and Miss Irene, thank you for coming from Alabama. And Miss Linear, both from Zoom and you and Facebook. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Hopefully you enjoy your time. Uh, Miss April, first time. <laughs> no, no, not really. Hope you are doing well. And all right, we're going to send you some healing energy, positive, but when we find our inner peace together, sharing our loving kindness toward you as well. as well. And Miss Claudia and Kathleen and Miss Helen as well. All right. Wow, we've got a lot of people coming in. And so today, well, tomorrow will be uh, just not some announcement, but something just like to say, because um, right now in England, they are mourning for the loss of their beloved queen. And tomorrow will be the last day for, for people to go public paying respect to her. However, we can also send our loving kindness to her during our meditation as well, since we are quite far apart from where she is locating at, at the moment. But still, our heart and mind can always be connected to each other if we become still and inside our body. That's the place where anyone can tune and join together from around the world, disregard of where you are. And so today, <coughs> let's go to our topic today. Uh, we got some new people too, yes. Well, lucky person. Yes, some people thinking, if I want to be happy, I should get some luck. So some say get a lucky clover. Yes, like lucky number. A lot of things. But how can we be lucky? Well, today I'm going to give you some part of a uh, example. All right. Before we go on, there's some announcement advertising. Yes, like when you watch YouTube, there is some advertising, right? So today too, we got in my channel, we have what is called Great Teaching Monk. We record of all the video today as well and we will be posting so you can check on the back, check on the playlist. We can sorting it out and you can check all learning from uh, our teaching monk and myself. <coughs> also another Facebook page is DMEU for anyone who interests to join more Buddhism and meditation in Europe. And as well as my own Facebook page, Great Teaching Monk, same name as the YouTube channel. Every Sunday we come join together and we all know so but if you have not subscribed, like and share, don't forget to do that. Alright, to get more notification and information. And this is my schedule in uh, my teaching online. For those who like to connect even though they cannot come to the temple, online still available. Sunday at this time 2.30 in UK time. Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 8.30 at night. Same Zoom channel like this. And also Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday in the MEU session that's public uh, for our temple. Therefore you can join this at 7 p.m. same time Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. And so come to our topic today. When we talk about luck, sometimes we need to know what it is mean first because so that way we know what it means or what we're talking about. The definition good luck or luck that commonly known today is refers to something like something that is good, something that what we want and we get it, and something that is desirable that can bring joy and comfort into our life. This is what is called good luck that most common people understand. But it also has in many reference as well. But in the secular world where a lot of people mentioning it, when it's talking about luck, they do not go about things as comfort. They naturally 
mentioning something like possessions that they can gain like when they go to the casino getting 777 and getting lucky that's what it is and so this is the luck that commonly people understand what it's about and talking about but in buddhism it's referred to something more of a quality of life the moral principle that leading life to find contentment find comfort and joy this is the luck that Buddhists are aiming toward to more than material thing, more like something that the mind can grab and attain. And in this, <clears throat> how do we know luck that we got is something that we are mentioning or intending to get? Well, there are nine indicators that, indic that can tell us that we are lucky enough or fortunate in living this life this is something that you can use having just one is good enough but having more is even better and here let's take a look at this one by one <coughs> number one being mindful those whose mind are being mindful he would that he would not make things that make himself become regret because he is in control and know what he should do what he should not do so that way when he execute that action into his life he won't be regret and won't be sorrow after the consequence this is being mindful of all by being lucky and fortunate to also be reasonable because he have logic in a way that coordinate with his own moral of conduct leading himself to be respectable do something with reason, without using his emotion, that could lead him to astray from morality. And number three, also very important, having good friends. Yes, <clears throat> sometimes we have a good luck, but if we don't have someone to guide us or someone to encourage or telling us when we do something wrong, we are not really quite fortunate because when we do something wrong, if there is no one telling us or correcting us, we could believe that is the right thing. Therefore, it will be the frame of reference into our mind and we could create a very bad things in our life and others. Four, aside from having a good, good friend, we can check ourselves whether we are good luck is we are having a positive view toward the world. If we always think negative, then maybe we are not so lucky because everything we see, we are not happy at all. Number five, Having enthusiasm to learn. What does this mean though? Sometime in life, if we want to grow, we need to learn. If we don't learn, we never know what is lie beyond ahead in our life. Spending, spending some time fight to, fight, try to find ourselves learning. This can also help us to grow, not only become more intelligent, but gain wisdom how to live our life. Number six. <coughs> Having the right view, these are very, very important in Buddhism. But to put into more of a conclusion, having understand the logic of karma, what one do or what goes around will always come around. Therefore, action equal reaction. A lot of things that we have done is always has consequence. Understand this fact at the very least we will understand and helping us to live the right in the moral and in the good conduct and happy peaceful life number seven this could be contradict to what we're looking for or talking about earlier being unhappy what does it mean in buddhism of course those who are not buddhism you can get and understand it quite more easily when i say this it's mentioned that if you want to grow and learn you need to be suffer when you be suffer you begin to see and appreciate all the better thing that you may have had that's be therefore if we are happy all the time in our life we become spoiled so in the end we never learn and grow but if we are unhappy this will taught us a lesson allow us to grow and overcome this all right what about number eight those undergoing hardship Yes, those who want to grow, if 
they are never experienced hardship, they would never overcome obstacle in their life. So that's when we face something like this, rather than try to run away, try to overcome it, like for example in meditation. Some people asking me, they've been meditate for a long time, but they do not seem to progress at all. How can I progress? Let's find that out after meditation. Don't forget to type and ask for that, all right? Number nine, last but not least, being unhealthy. What does it mean being unhealthy is, un is, is lucky? When we are sick, we appreciate our own health when it's better. But if we always being healthy all the time, we never appreciate that health that we have had. So when we have one sick, we will see that, oh, being unhealthy is not good. I must take care of my body more. Eat right, sleep right, meditate more. Therefore, you have good and peaceful life, everyone. And so that is something that we can check whether we are lucky enough or not. If we get all of this, I'm sure you are happy and fortunate. And therefore, you can find yourself living happily from now on, rather than regret or looking for more than what you already have. All right, everyone, let's find our in inner peace and contentment together from now on. If you are ready, check yourself three things before you start. One, your mobile phone. Maybe turn it off if you don't need to use it. Two, check if you need to use toilet. And last but not least, check if the room where you are meditating is peaceful, ready for meditation, everyone. Then let us begin our inner peace time. begin our meditation. <coughs> I would like to invite everyone finding yourself sitting in a relaxed and comfortable position without any tension. And then slowly close your eyes, feeling as if you are about to falling asleep and take a rest. Make your mind empty, free from all concern of all the matter with people, animal, and any situations you may experience in the past or in the future. Being in the present moment, scanning your whole body very truly. Check if there are any tension that need to be adjusted. And begin to relax from the top of your head down to forehead, eyebrows. Loosen eyelids. No need to use your eyes or try to look during the meditation. Making your face become soft and your head Feeling light. Continue down to the neck and shoulder, arms, 
forearms, bow to the hands, adjusting the back and body properly, allowing yourself breathe in and breathe out more easily. Continue to relax further from the hip to the legs, knees, all the way down to the bottom of the feet. Making sure that your whole body is completely comfortable for the meditation. When you adjusting yourself, you would feel that the body is light or floating. Some case may feel the body is transparent, leave only their awareness inside. When you are done adjusting yourself, continue to adjust the mind. Body and mind are connected. If one is relaxed, the other would follow. Begin to adjust the mind by imagining that you are alone in a place, surround and connect by nature in a vast open space make you feel calm peaceful feeling as if you are the only one in this world feeling like yourself is floating then bring back the mind and rest it inside gently without forcing the mind bring back the mind by taking a deep breath and slowly breathing out Then rest the mind at any point inside the body. Then begin to observe the mind from this moment on. Sometimes our mind may slipping outside if we got careless but that's all right lightly imagine the sun shine inside the body at the place where you rest the mind Observe the mind through your feeling. Maintain the mind in the relaxation feeling as well as your body. Make 
making yourself be just like an observer. Observe your own mind through your feeling. Whichever thought may arise, remain calm and be neutral with every experience that may arise. Maintain the mind inside by lightly imagine the sun shine at the place where you rest your mind. and observe the sun peacefully let the sun shine from this moment on batting the mind in the cooling light inside enjoy be with the present moment as you are sitting under the tree connected with nature observe the mind and the sun all together if you like you could recite the mantra in the mind at your own pace and the mantra is Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Samma-Arahang You may use your own mantra or the following mantra to help calm down the mind inside yourself. And the mantra is Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Continue recite the mantra in the mind as you progress toward inner peace. The mantra will slowly fade away or disappear by itself. Let's take our time together on this moment finding inner peace for a few moments in silence until the appropriate time
inside yourself as the mind gradually come to a standstill inner peace and joy would arise and fill into the mind allow the mind to love openly, freely, without any condition. Sharing this feeling of love and kindness from the meditation to everyone at this place whether from zoom or on facebook sharing your inner peace loving kindness toward your family and friends wishing them all to be safe happy, free from all kinds of danger and suffering. Spending loving kindness with them all, wishing them to be happy, more and more. Spending this few moments spread our loving kindness.
deep breath, feeling that the mind is still present inside your body, and maintain the mind in the balance of mindfulness and relaxation. Continue on after the meditation. Maintain the mind inside the body as long as you can so you can be with inner peace, kindness everywhere you go. Before the end of the session, the monk would give the blessing in ancient Pali language to end the session. สัพพุทธานุภาเวนะสัพพธรรมานุภาเวนะสัพพสังขานุภาเวนะสัทธาโสธีพระวันโตเต You can now slowly open your eyes and may you all be with inner peace in everything and everywhere you go Welcome back everyone Allow me to check your meditation experience. For those who watch from Zoom, you can just raise your hand. For those who are watching from Facebook, please leave the main, then uh, your answer in the following comment here. For those who are feeling relaxed, could you raise your hand, please? Thank you. Very nice. Mm. Does anyone feeling like time fly by fast today, or feeling like your body is disappear or transparent? Just your hand. Thank you. Very nice. All right. Good. Does anyone experience like brightness and joy? A little bit is fine too. Does anyone experience that inside? Okay. Well, when you are practicing meditation, sometimes you get relaxed. Sometimes uh, you feel like your body disappear. Sometimes you feel happy. All in all, these are the, pro uh, the process toward inner peace when the mind becomes still. Today at our temple this week, in, we have a meditation retreat and I happen to have a group sharing with many participants. And many of them have a good meditation experience when they meditate together. Some of them ask, or having question, what's the difference between meditate by themselves or as a group? Because sometimes they meditate better when they do by themselves, and when they come as a group, noise and things disturbing. Well, to add, to get to that, many of you also are wondering as well, come together at the same place, what's the point? I can do this on my own or watch the record, right? When we have that, well, that's true, but when you are together as a group, our f our feeling are connect when we are meditate if one of us finding inner peace it would also kind of like helping uh, eff affect the other as well this is the power of inner peace effect toward a meditation as a group but by yourself as your own sometimes it may be good sometimes it may be bad but if it's bad sometimes most of us getting ah uh, then maybe next time so quitting but as a group when you open your eyes, oh, they still meditate. So you begin to start over and meditate again until the session is over. 
this is something that is meant by when you may uh, meditate as a group it may not be comfort but it help a lot so if we go together as a team this is also a way to help you conquer your own laziness of practice meditation by yourself but what about earlier question asking what was it again everyone you can leave the comment all right ah when you are uh, meditate what would be the point when you are uh, can do this uh, what's the question again i forgot to mention uh, uh, could anyone remember earlier <laughs> if not don't worry i can just skip but anyway one thing that i like to go over on this part is that meditation when you feel that you don't improve when you feel that you are stuck feel like you just go repeating in the same thing over and over never improve when you experience like that be careful it's nothing wrong but but at the time when the mind get experienced the condition of the mind begin to adjust sometimes we have a long day sometimes we have done meditate consistently so when we close our eye it is quite taking some time for the mind to come to a standstill if we want to have improved it must always connect what it mean is that when you meditate your meditation is feeling good you must maintain that even though you open your eyes and next time you, when you, next time when you close your eye is connect and continue to go further that is why those who are meditate or become meditator expert meditator they usually meditate for a long long time at least one two or three hour at least so help them continue their progress but of course our life are not that free like buddhist monk you know so therefore meditate while we are open eyes is also an option to help us progress but come to answer the question is when you are meditate and you don't feel you feel stuck you don't improve what should you do well first of all meditation disregard of how you experience but if you are feeling content feeling okay that you have done the practice bit by bit every day sometime less sometime more bit by bit consistently eventually it will bring the fruit just like planting tree the tree may not deliver the fruit at the right time yet but when the times come it will same thing to us as well when we meditate even though we don't experience or see or having the same thing like the author has experienced don't compare yourself to author we are not the same because we are different person we live in different house we meet different di different people in our life so those things are the factor that also hinders to i mean not allow us to be as progress as we want it to be that's why we are not the same therefore nevertheless if every time you are enjoy that you are meditate bit by bit it will change but if you start yourself with expectation i want to be at this level so you keep meditating it will be struggle because expectation will be in a way of your meditation so if instead you meditate just to enjoy your inner peace and rest with this feeling and motivation eventually bit by bit in no time you will find yourself progress in meditation without delay so i hope you all keep continue practice meditation all right and let's see who has sharing our meditation experience aside from our roast from watching from youtube or facebook miss lisa one miss claudia two mr kuma there you are was wondering where were you all right two miss helen satu what is your meditation <laughs> miss Irene joy two that's good mm, two and three right miss kathleen two ah uh, julie todesco has been here ah uh, come here already that's good so well when you are experienced like this disregard everyone 
this is the result of your practice but don't imagine that it's gonna be the same if it is the same that means you have done something correct to keep it the same result but you must maintain it longer longer when you have time to meditate on your own all right everyone I think that is for our session today therefore oh I have oh miss April I think I sharing my uh, blessing to you so hopefully you enjoy it and before we end today here is uh, our announcement for the day today words wisdom of the day being a lucky person at the end don't forget good luck is what we create it is not sent from above therefore if you want to be a lucky person check out earlier that I mentioned about the nine quality whether you have that or not if you do at least one or two you are considered one already therefore it is something that you must buy and do it yourself all right and so the announcement for today for the upcoming session this Saturday the MEU session gathering for intermediate longer meditation and wisdom our Venerable teaching monk this week is Venerable Standard Kemma Dammo. So please look forward to his teachings and meditation guidance. All right, everyone. And that's it for our session in the Peace Sunday. I hope you have a good afternoon. And for those in US and United States, good day. And those who are in Asian time, like in like April, Japan, good night. All right, everyone. Thank you. And I have. Hope you have a good time and see you again in our next Inner Peace Sunday, everyone. Ending broadcast now.